Hey, thanks for tuning in. This is Jeff from the Riffs and Ride channel. Glad you're here to take a look at me unboxing another effects pedal. This one is the KMize KM10 Analog Delay, available from Amazon for, get this, under 20 bucks. Now, how in the world can you get a good effects pedal for under 20 bucks? I have yet to know. I've yet to play this, so we are all in this together. The last delay pedal I bought was in the 1980s, and it was a digital delay that I'm pretty darn sure I paid well over $200 for. This pedal, like some of the other smaller ones, is a aluminum bodied pedal. It does not have a place for you to uh, put a nine volt battery, but you know you will be able to use any of the external power supplies. It has a true bypass switch, which maintains a pure signal flow. So that way when the pedal is not in use, you don't have any signal drain. There's a dedicated time and mix and repeat knobs that allow for more precise effect tailoring. With the uh, aluminum body, this is sure to last a lifetime. And one thing that I noticed on this, they have a lifetime promise for any problem you have with their pedals, contact us and they'll resolve it. They're always here to help. And that's written directly on their page. So with the KMize pedals, you get some of these features. It runs on a 12 milliamp current, which is nice because most of these daisy chain power supplies have a limited amount of current. 12 milliamps is quite low considering a lot of them are probably around 200. So you're still at a point where you're not having to drain everything just to power one of your pedals. Some of the features of it, you have three knobs on there. The first one is the time. This knob adjusts the delay time from 20 milliseconds to 600 milliseconds. The second knob is a mix. This is a ratio of the delaying signal and the original signal. Think of it as your wet and dry. So the more mix you have in there, the more the delay is going to hang on. The less mix it'll delay, it'll repeat a little bit, and then it'll taper off more. And speaking of repeat, that's the third knob on here. That gives you the intensity of the feedback signal that is in there. It does have a single input and output and has an LED light to show you when it's turned on. Like all the effects, it does have a true bypass switch and it is foot switch activated. So you can go in there and you could play around and you know hit it whether you have it on a pedal board, kicking it with your foot, or if you just have it set up on a desk. It weighs only 144 grams and it's 92 millimeters by 42 millimeters by 52 millimeters in size. Let's get to unboxing this. All right, nothing else in the box there. So we have, of course, the instruction manual written in. Ah written in four different languages so you know what I think I'm going to learn Russian and try and learn whatever that is and this is the pedal just because it's green don't make it don't confuse it with a vintage overdrive so construction yeah it, it does feel lightweight it definitely is aluminum you have the top mounted power and your side mounted inputs and outputs. Like all the others, you have the foot switch. You know what? Let's get this thing fired up and do a tone test on it.
In conclusion, if you're looking for an analog delay pedal and you're not really sure if you really want to get into one, the price is under 20 bucks and it is actually a great little pedal. Even at the under $20 price point, you can really afford if you only used it occasionally. It is definitely worth the money. It has a true bypass on there, so you're not having any noticeable signal degradation by having this on your pedal board. The only real con I found, other than my lack of analog delay song playing abilities, are the repeat. It's nearly unusable once you get past about the 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock position. Once you get there, the repeat gets to be so much that you end up having to turn it down. Otherwise, you get into an eternal feedback. If you're looking for a analog delay pedal that's not going to break the bank, has all of the features that you need for a price that is under $20, this is definitely one I would consider. Links are in the description below. Have a great day. Y'all take care.